What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? good with y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video today we tuning in messing with the suspension we messing with the cutlass suspension we're gonna put these real car springs in but i was looking up the part numbers because i told y'all the other video i was gonna look up the part number because the spring look kind of crazy so we're gonna slide in the garage i'm gonna tell y'all what i got planned and all that and what i found out so y'all just stay tuned Alright, so y'all see I got these out. Now, I was thinking these were the cutlass car springs. They actually not. The part number pulls up. These are the Monte Carlo real car springs. But this is what the cutlass car spring look like. So I'm about to take these, and they should work though. I'm about to take these and put them in the cutlass. And I'm going to take the old ones out and stand them up side by side and compare them. And see uh, what they looking like. I'm going to put these in car spring installation pretty easy but now this these right here are the front springs for the money carlo these are the fronts right here which look they look right so we're keeping them these are the fronts for the cutlass right here which they look right so we're gonna keep them i'm gonna go to lawless I'm gonna go to Lawless head, I'm put in, but these are the real springs for the cutlass. Look at this. There's no way. There is no way that's going no cutlass. Look how tall this spring is. It can go in there. Now, if you want your car to sit sky high, I got the part number for you. If you want your car to go in the L, I have the part number because this right here will put your car in the L. Look at the height difference. Let me show y'all the height difference. Look at the height difference now. They this pulls up for a cutlass car spring right there. Ain't no way I'm putting it in there. There is no way. So we going with the one on the uh, right, and I'm about to take these back. If they set the cutlass right like I want to, I'm gonna keep them in there. I'm gonna go take them, return them, and get these for a wifey car, which is at the paint shop right now. So you know, springs can't go in no way. But I, I have to show y'all that. Cause that's crazy. If somebody go, you know, you go order these, and I got them from O'Reilly. I got them from O'Reilly. That's why I bought the spring from the first time too for Dolo O'Reilly. So that's what that is. So I'm gonna jack the jack uh, rhythm blues up, and then uh, we're gonna get it get it all set up. All right. So we got it set up and let it down. When you change the car spring, support your uh, your your car on the under the frame, not on the rear end. Cause sometimes you can set the jack stands on the rear end, but then you ain't gonna be able to get the car springs out. So you said support your car, support your car under the frame. Then the rear end will drop. It'll come on down. See what? Check the jack stand first. Make sure everything. Shake the car. We good. Good and secure. Over there. Get in now. Yeah, yeah. We good and secure. Shake the car. Yes, indeed. Then you jack. Boom, rear end come down. Got some room to play with. All the way down. There we go. That's it. Then you can just 
pop the uh, car spring out. So I'm finna set the towel up, then we're gonna get the spring out. Alright, y'all, we back. We back. We back. Woo woo. Boy. These bad boy rest. Good God Almighty. Might have a little trouble on my hand. Cause these things here rest. God God. Rest it, boy. Ooh, ooh. Another reason I want to take them out. Ooh. This a time too. I'm gonna put my gloves on this time. This a time you gotta eat your Wheaties. Cause you gotta push on them spring. Tight spring load. And I can tell you right now, these right here are gonna drop the car down. That's what I wanted to do. It's gonna drop the car down. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, these are gonna drop the car down. We got six, six cars right here. And it helps too if you want to make it even easier, which they're probably what I probably will do. Instead of muscling this thing up, you can take the uh, you can take the bottom shock bolt loose, which only take a fraction of a second. So they're probably what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take the bottom shock loose, and then uh, it'll make it easy. You can pivot the uh, rear end. So we're gonna take the bottom shock bolts loose, make it easy. Y'all stay tuned. Back at it again. Gotta get a new creeper. But uh, I'm gonna take the bottom shock loose. It's easy. Three quarter, three quarter and a little sixteen. What you need? Some cases it could be different, but you know, on this car, it's a three quarter and eleven sixteen. So that's what we're rolling with. Let's see, take the thing loose. You gonna have to take that top a little. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be doing that, you know. But the bottom ain't, ain't too bad. Gloves, boy. The, the impact. There we go. We on there now. Get in there. Get it down with me. Now the radio station change. Radio station detained. Quick. All right. Got that. Woo. Good God Almighty, boy. I gotta go get the arm. Um, we gotta go get the hammer. I got no hammer hands, boy. Um, um, taught me that. Them hammer hands. Oh, where we go? Can't do that. I got them hammer hands, boy. My aunt, boy, I said, hey, uncle, uncle, boom, boom, boom. Don't be out of there, boy. I said, boy, aunt, you got them helmet hands, boy. Yeah. No joke, though. Get hit with them, boy. Bill, you have a bad you. So we about to get this spring out of here. Ah, there we go. See, boy, I don't live weight for nothing. I don't live weight for nothing. Since my put a comment, said, Jay, put them 12 days up, boy. There ain't no joke. I keep telling folks the impact on. Them. But let me uh we're gonna, we're gonna bring this out. It still look good. We're gonna bring this out this spring so y'all can see the uh, height comparison. And see how it's gonna drop. It's gonna be sent perfect. Alright, so y'all see they about the same height, but this how you the load the load too. That's a stiffer spring. Probably a heavy duty spring. That's why it less cause. That's why Dolo, that's how Dolo got dropped. You got to know your load. Sometimes they'll ask you what kind of load. And that's the difference right here. This. Well, if I was close, you can, you can compress that easier than that. That's a tighter spring. Naturally, it's more cause. I said height about the same. That's a little taller. Slightly taller. So, you see the difference. But y'all going to see. Because when we put this thing, the spring... The spring is what's responsible for your ride height, not the shock. The shock just dampening your ride. That's all it is, making you have a smooth ride. That's why when you get a coil over, 
it's a spring and a shock so you don't have to you can take these out if you run coilovers you take your springs out everything else will do everything that way you can adjust your ride height but if you don't have a coilover this how you adjust your ride height it's coil spring now if you want to lift the car up you can put those springs in i showed you let's go get them let, let me get one let me, let's get one show you all the height different show you just how much this would lift that car up it'll be hell getting in there too for real so you just how much it would have raised the car look at that this she is boy cutler been in cutler's been in the sky y'all see that look at that car bending if you thought the back was high it showed up bit high so that what going on let me get that thumbnail thumbnail boom get that thumbnail for y'all there we go so yeah we're gonna get these uh get these new ones put in we're gonna see what it do all right right back at it again put that in there they're gonna be much easier to go in i know that just slide it up there get in there yeah yeah hey this girl gonna back it up Dun. yep we're gonna lower it whole lot easier going now look at that and we in there yep they're gonna put us in the game, boy. Cut they're gonna be saying right. Gonna be saying just like I want. Got to pick this up. Gotta put the impact on to use. Gotta put the impact on to you. I'm gonna bent pre almost 400 for this. Keep slide. I could do this, so I don't have to fight. They work smart. They work smart. Gonna work smart today. We gonna work smart today. I don't feel like. I don't feel like fighting today. It's gonna be a little smart. Sometimes I feel like getting the workout in. Today we're gonna do it smart. So we put it back. Gonna put it back. We're gonna be good to go. Then we're gonna hit the other side. Well, I'm telling y'all. They don't sponsor me or nothing. They ain't never reached out, but I love the impact. Maybe one day they will, man. I don't know. Maybe one day they'll see my content and be like, hey, he adds a lot of value to our company. But for right now, I love the impact, man. If you don't have you one, go get you one. A Milwaukee. You'll tell the difference. We'll tell the difference. You get what you pay for. It, it ain't it ain't cheap. It's not a cheap impact, but it worked every penny. Honest to God, it worked every penny. So we're gonna get this tight down. I don't know if y'all can see or not. Get that tight down. We back. I think we're going get that ring back down. Now we're gonna hit the other side. Smooth selling. All right. So we over here now. Get this in. Get this in next. Says it's a quick little job, man. It's easy. Shot bolts loose, y'all. You be good to go. Got to get these shots off here next. Rusty shots, but they got. Got to go. Get these comp engineer budget friendly budget friendly race shops. Like I said, the come wifey, the big boy Escalade, make sure she don't plow me down. Wifey Escalade, the Maybach, she treat that thing like Maybach, boy. 
ain't glad, man. You got a simple woman like. Don't be on all that other stuff. Some folk be on for real. That's why I give her whatever. I give her whatever she asked for. Cause she don't ask for nothing. She'll cut that ready, y'all. She trying to give me a copyright. She trying to get me a copyright. She blasted. She trying to get me a copyright. On the copyright, we gonna get it down on. Down on. Down on. I'm trying to. I'm trying to outweigh that radio she got going. Y'all, she get, hey, I don't know, y'all hear that radio through that car? I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to outweigh that. Yeah, come on. All right, so, nah, it's all. Take this shot, Lou. Then put the hem hand, all you need for this job. You need, you need, like I said, you need a level C tank wrench. You really ain't got to have that, but I just have it anyway. You got an impact, it'll spin off fast enough. Little 16 rent, and you need some hammer hands. So you can do this. Some hammer hands. That's all you need. Get them hammer hands. Good to go. I'm gonna get this out. And another thing. I said, I told him you're up here trying to get me a copyright. Uh oh. <laughs> you blasting that music in that Maybach. I told him you treat that thing like it's a Maybach. <laughs> She got a Maybach. That's why she laughing, y'all. Told you. Treat like a Maybach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, come put down the tie. See, I can get her to help me. I'm gonna have to get doing all that. Get wife to help me right quick. Pull her hands to work. She can put this down and I can just boom, boom, pop that out. Another thing, y'all. Hey, so y'all. Salt shakers, y'all are no longer entitled to drop a comment on my video if you're not on my level. You can't say nothing about my cars if your car ain't faster than mine. If your car not clean than mine, you can't say nothing. I'll just put it down like this on the top. Now you're gonna feel the ring. Yeah, like right here, just push it down with both your hands. The ring gonna go down. Put your weight on it. Huh? Now keep going, push it. Hold on. Push down. A little more. You ready? Yeah. I got it. Yeah, y'all. Y'all can't say nothing. Don't say nothing to me. Well, nah, don't say that. I, I take that back. Y'all apologize. Nah, y'all do say something. Y'all do say something. I need that. I need that in my life. Y'all know what I'm talking about, brown coat gang. I need that in my life. I, I, I said it wrong. Y'all keep up the good work. Y'all do say something. I'm sorry. Apologize. A thousand apologies. Make sure y'all say something. But just know, when you're talking about anybody, levels to life out here now. It is levels to life. That's why I don't say nothing to certain people. I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't got no business. I ain't on that level. I can't, I can't do nothing with you. It levels to life. Just know that. Especially you, Chris, whoever you is, whatever your name is. Chris, Chris, you a real lame. <laughs> hey, you got to apply pressure on him, man. Keep talking. Y'all know, y'all know what people be talking, they ain't even on your level, man. They ain't got nothing. Like my, my boy, uh, my big bro, old school king, he was just talking about, uh, he was telling me somebody made a comment on one of his older videos, because we always talk, man, like, Every other day, we talked about two hours. He said somebody said wrote comments saying how he should do his videos and he should shoot in 4K and you should do angles like this. I'm like, what? Talking about he got a media company and all this shit. I said, I said, bro, how many all uh, subscribers he got? In my mind, you saying all that, I'm like, this man got to have, boy, you got to have a million followers. He said he don't have no profile pictures. And he got four subscribers. I said, man, he need to shut up. <laughs> if you ain't on somebody's level, how you gonna tell somebody how to run their channel? You don't even have a channel. Yo, you might well not have a channel. That's just real, man. Like, shut up. <laughs> I told bro, I said, I wish I could. If you could find that comment, let me know. I'm running you up some SDC on that. I don't care. You got a media company. A media company does not translate to social media. This for anybody that got a media company. Your same tactics you use do not translate to social media. You can try it if you want to. 
before you tell somebody else, you come try it yourself. I'll tell you that man he, you need to do your video like, man, shut up. You got four subscribers. I'm sorry I'm talking like this, y'all, but it's the truth. You need to shut up if you ain't got but four subscribers. You can't tell nobody how to run their channel. And he got over a thousand. And you got four. That mean he knows he know what he's doing, you don't. They're like PB talking about these cars. I'm like, man, shut up. You don't know what my car do. You know what I show you. Boy. Like y'all know, y'all put your car in the comment, man, you should do this to your car. Well, you get it and do it. You get your own car and do it. Don't tell me how to do mine. I'm spending my own paper. Do it how you want to. Mm -hmm. People are tripping, y'all. People are tripping. But that's it. Part of life. Part of life, y'all. But, um... We got that in. Let's see how they cut gonna look. See how rhythm the blue gonna look. I know them new springs look a whole lot better. Let me, let me, let me get y'all. Let me get y'all, man. We look a whole lot better. Yeah, we look a whole lot better. I'm gonna get that red powder coated, y'all. I'm gonna sandblast to get it powder coated. And uh, we're gonna change these shot. Comp engineering, so all look gonna be looking tight. Tight and good. We're gonna get it right. New trailing arms. Car two knife, man. Um, Eric, I'm gonna finish up what my boy Eric was doing, man. My guy Eric, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it up. I'm gonna do it right. He did a good job. I'm gonna carry it the rest of the way. I got to Eric. I'm gonna carry it the rest of the way. So y'all, we gonna get this car uh set down and we're gonna see how it look. All right. Oh yeah, it lowered it a lot. It lowered that back a lot. So uh, it still look higher. In the back slightly, it's nowhere near the height it was. You can tell. It brought it down. That's why I want it. It brought it down like that. So now we put the new front springs in. It gonna sit like it should. We chain the front spring, it gonna sit like it's supposed to. Cause it did bring the back in. It brought it down. So if you wanna bring it down, get money carlo rear car springs. 84 money call a real car spring. Yeah, it brought it down. Y'all know my front was super low though. The front was super low. And then it's sitting on a it's sitting on a uh, slant too. It's sitting on a slant too. So it might be lower than that. It's just probably the way it's sitting. Cause it's on a it's on a slope like this. Driveway slope right here a little bit. So we get on a flat. When it get on a flat, it probably look different. And I might actually just drive this thing to town cause uh drive the O'Reilly. Cause we need to take these, take these back. We're gonna take these back, return them, and get this one, get this part number right here. So that we're gonna do. See how it ride. It's still gonna ride good. Cause I felt still gonna ride good. So I'm gonna get all this stuff put up. Then we're gonna drive the thing apart, still get it switched out. All right, y'all. So I just got back from O'Reilly's. They, they got this switched out. Got it coming, but. Yeah, it was on the incline. You can see now. If you look, you can see how much it, it lowered the back. Y'all know the front just super low. But when the front spring get changed, watch the stance. When the front get changed, it's going to be all the way on point. But to really see how it's sitting, it had to be on a real level surface. But you can tell. You can tell big time it been dropped in the back. I can. I look at it every day. So I can tell. It's still a little high. Cause the front just low. The front is just that low, man. It sit low like you got V6 springs in it, or you would think a big block in it. And I remember some people thinking it's a big block in it. So, yeah, I just want y'all to see how it sit before I pull it on the driveway. And just stay tuned, cause I gotta, like I said, I gotta holler at y'all about something, man. I gotta holler at y'all, so stay tuned. All right, so we back, we back, man. Like I said, I said I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. I'm gonna do another vlog for that, man, cause it just, it'll be too much to holler at y'all about, but. I'm going to holler at y'all though. Y'all just stay tuned in to the channel. We got the springs in. We got the rear springs in. It dropped the back down. I could drop it down some more. I don't really want to. I don't know. My mind might change. Whatever. I'm not trying. Somebody said squat and do this. I don't like doing all my cars the same way. Y'all going to learn. If you ain't learned it by now, you ought to know. I don't like doing all my cars the same way. I don't want to have all LS. I don't want to have all big block, all small block or GM1. I don't want to have all big bodies. I got a little bit of everything, man. We 
I got Ford. We got the Ford over there. We got this LS over here, fuel injected. We got small block, Gen 1 small block supercharged. Hey, Dolo small block. Uh, Gen 1, I meant not I said small block. <laughs> big block, uh, Dolo uh, big block, uh, uh, nitrous. So, and then, meat's probably just gonna be a regular small block, man. You know, just for now to get it running. But basically, y'all see what I'm saying. We got a big block. We got a we got a small block supercharged, and then we got a turbo LS. So, you know, I just like a little bit of everything. And all of them fast in their unique way. They quick. They fun. All of them fun. So it's just a little bit of everything. But you know. Like I said, I don't like my car the same way. So this right here might sit level or just that low look. Um, we just gonna see. It's easy to drop it. It ain't nothing. I mean, if I do want to drop it, it ain't nothing to it. It's, it's easy to do. Uh, you just change the spring. So lower spring and it'll come down. So we got the springs in. We dropped the back. Now all we gotta do is get the fronts in, which I can't do. I could. I can buy a spring compression tool, but I don't. I did that one time. I put in doing the lift kit. I said, nah, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> never doing it again. So uh, we're gonna go to Lawless. That'll be a quick little jog in and out just to knock that out fast. We'll get the front spring put in. He might can get that done this week. I'm gonna give him a call. Cause that's, that's a quick little jog for him. That's literally in and out for him. So uh, yeah, that's what it is, man. Y'all gotta see some wrench turning and all that. Quick little how-to, change your real coil springs and all that. So I'll catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.